Hey guys, welcome back. For this one, we're gonna go ahead and do a Halloween theme one. And that is your jack o' lanterns. Jack o' lanterns are, again, pretty popular dur during Halloween, especially if you have little ones dressed up as pumpkins. Or if you're at like a fall get together. I know there's a lot of like harvest festivals and all that. So, pumpkins are pretty popular when it comes to that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our orange base coat. When it comes to a pumpkin, you want to do like a half face unless they request for a full. But for this one, I will also be giving you a two-parter. This one will be a half face and then your jack-o'-lantern cheek design. So again, we're going to start with our half face. Going to need a lot of orange. And you're just going to split your face in half, but you're going to curve it. So it's going to be nice, curved here. Now this one you actually are going to be hitting your lips. But that's okay. We at least want to get a good orange base coat down. Because when we put the black on, it's a lot easier for family members to, you know, wash it off. You're not going to be scrubbing away black all this time. I know, I've tried. Like, I've had, I've been in haunted houses where it's like, blackout face. And it is hard to clean all that up. Now when I say blackout face, that means, you know, you're in a dark house and they don't want anybody to see anything. That means there's no cell phone use. There's, you're basically in a dark house and it's basically sensory deprivation for some people. So again, be careful of my eye area. You want a good cover. Like so. See? Watch out for the eye. Be very careful on there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow and I'm also going to take brown. Yellow is going to give me my highlight to my pumpkin. So I'm just going to go once around the edge here. I'm going to go in halfway and do another curve here. With my yellow. So I want two streaks of yellow. I'm going to take my brown. I'm going to start casting shadows. So you're not going to need too much. You want a nice light shadow. So I'm just getting the edge of my sponge here. I'm going to go right in between. Yeah, right on the edge. I'm just going to go ahead and brush it on both sides. So right now you should have something that looks like this. So we got yellow, orange, brown, orange, yellow, orange, brown. I'm going to take my medium liner, well my large liner. I'm going to go ahead and basically map out where the face features are going to be. Basically your eye cut out, your nose cut out, and then your mouth cut out. So basically you want to do, you could do a simple triangle one, which I always like doing. Right around the eye. Don't bring it down too far. Nice little circle for the nose. I usually like to get just the tip here. And they can tell you whether they want to have like a kooky smile, or if they want to have a scary smile. It's all up to them. 
Remember, a happy kid is one that's less likely to cry when you have their face painted on. So I'm just filling in my eye. Say so we want to do like a traditional smile. So I'm going to go right above the lip here. Drop it down. I'm actually going to use my lip here. Because then I won't have to line that out. Bring it over. I'm going to fill in my upper lip here. See, so right now it's actually making the tooth. And I'm just going to go ahead and mirror that. So this section will be blacked out and then this one will be orange. Again, finish up your eye if you haven't done that already. Like so. So now we have a pretty good dark lantern face right now. Now what I always do is I take my I'll take my large liner for this. But you want it to be a point. If you're afraid that you're not going to have a consistent point, go ahead and use your medium liner. I'm just going to go ahead and outline this. So once around. I'm also going to hit the pits here where I have my shading just lightly. Now if you want to get fancy, you can add some leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my large flat and I'm going to take a medium green here. And you can go ahead and add a leaf just by pushing down and just dragging it across. Like so. Go ahead, line that out with your small one. And that's how you do a half face jack o' lantern. Now, if you're just going to do a simple cheek design, it's going to be a lot easier. So again, we're going to start with our orange. And we're just going to do like an apple, basically. Or a tomato. You want there to be like that little heart shape on the top and round on the bottom. Like so. Now take your medium green, with your sponge, just a little bit, go go ahead and put that pumpkin in some grass, like so, and add a little bit of green at the top. Now with this one, you're not going to need the shading. Just take your small liner and just have fun with it. Make sure you get the outline done first. So basically, I did the round C's here and then two little curves here in the middle. 
outline is done. Keep going once around. Now go ahead, put your face on. This one, I like to give it big eyes. He's like, oh, I'm so mad. Look at me. I'm a little pumpkin. But I always like to give him cross eyes. Because then kids always think it's so funny. It's so silly. Give him a little tiny nose. Right there. Make sure your lines are sharp. Do a couple lines here in the grass. Now again, you can add some flair. I'll put a little bat up here, which is a little bee oval. And I give it a little wings. And I'll do another one, little one right here. He's like, hi, I got a friend. Now if you want to put some highlights in it, you're just going to use white. So just take a little bit of white. Go once on the stem. Just a little line. On the top of your pumpkin. And there we go. And that is how you make some pumpkin faces. So again, here's your cheek design. I'll bring it up close for you. And then your face design. So guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a great Halloween. And I hope this helps you. See ya.